Hey guys and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to rotate the image. So I'll create a new Java project and I'll call this project image rotation. And inside of this project I'm going to create a package called EMG. And inside of this package I'm going to create a new class and I'll call it image rotate. Okay, so first I'm going to import buffered image, file, IO exception, iterator, image input output, image reader, and image input stream classes. And uh, I'll create a two final static fields. So public static final, and they will be integer. And first I'm going to call this one rotate left and I'll give it the value of 1 and the second one we can just copy this the second one will be rotate right and I'll give it the value of minus 1 okay so first uh, let's create a method for rotating the image for 90 degrees uh, either left or right so let's create it so public static void and i'll call it rotate 90. the first parameter of this method will be file input so the original image the second parameter will be file output that is going to be the the rotated image and the last parameter is going to be direction of rotation so integer direction okay now let's create uh, the try and catch block in order to catch any exceptions and we'll catch the io exception and if we catch it let's just print stack trace okay now inside of our try block we'll first we're gonna need a image input stream so image input stream and I'll call it IIS. It will be the input stream from the input file. So we need image input output. And let's call method create image input stream. And the parameter is going to be the input file, so the original image. Okay, now we need the iterator. So iterator and iterator of the image reader and let's call it just iterator and we get this iterator by calling the image input output get image readers and we pass the image input stream as a parameter and we now need the image reader so image reader and let's call it just reader and we need to call the next method on the iterator so iterator dot next okay now we'll get the format of the input image string format and we will just need to call the get format name on the reader the on the reader uh, object so get format name okay now we have a format of our input image okay now let's create a buffered image from the original image so buffered image image call the image io read and we'll read the image input stream and by default when we call this method on the image input stream it returns the buffered image and closes the image input stream okay now we need the, uh, the width and height of the original image so integer width is image dot get width 
and integer get uh, integer height is image get height okay and we'll just create now the new buffered image so this image is going to be the rotated image so buffered image let's call it rotated is a new buffered image now when we rotate uh, image by 90 degrees the original width of the image so the width of the original image will become the height and the height will become the width so the width is going to be height and height will be width and the image type we'll just call the get type on the original image okay now now we need uh, nested loops nested for loops to draw this image so for integer y is equal to zero y is lesser than the height and y will increment by one each time and inside of this loop we need another loop so for integer x is equal to zero x is lesser than the width and x will increment by one now we need a switch statement to check the direction of the rotation and if the case is rotate left so in this case we'll need to call the set rgb on rotated image set rgb and uh, the, uh, the x coordinate is going to become the y coordinate the x coordinate uh, we need to calculate in this case so we need the uh, width minus 1 and minus x and let's read the original rgb so image get rgb on the coordinates of x and y okay so this is in case when the rotate left is set and we'll need a break and in case rotate is right then we'll again call this set rgb on the rotated image so set rgb now the coordinate for the x is going to be calculated by the height minus 1 minus y the y coordinate is going to be the x and we'll just copy the image dot get rgb here okay and after these four loops we need to write image input output and we need to write the image we'll write the rotated image format we have the format so this is the format we get it by calling the get format name on the image reader and the output is the output file okay so this is a method for rotation by 90 degrees now we need to test this and i'll create a new class and i'll call it test and there we're going to have a main method now let's first import java.io.file and let's create uh, file input is a new file now we need a location of this file and on my desktop I have this Java image java.jpg now properties and go to the location copy the location of your image and I'll paste it here and the name is java.jpg so this is the input file we can copy this now we need the output file 
and I'll change this to rotated 90 and I'll call the image rotate class and the rotate 90 method we'll pass the input and the output and direction is image rotate dot let's say we want to rotate, rotate left so we'll rotate left save it right click on this test class go to run as and click as Java application okay and as you can see we have our rotated image it is rotated by 90 degrees to the left and now if we change this to rotate right and let's just say we want to print something out when the rotation is finished okay now run it again we have the message finished and now the image is rotated right and it all works okay okay now I'm going to create a second method now the second method is going to rotate the image by 180 degrees and this method is almost the same like this one just we don't have the direction and uh, we'll just uh, change the positions of the written RGB uh, values so we can copy the entire method and I'll paste it here and I'll call it rotate 180 we don't need that direction okay and we don't need the switch statement now instead of this switch statement we'll just call set RGB on the rotated image so rotated set RGB now the position is the width minus 1 and minus x same for the y so height minus 1 and minus y and we need here the image dot get rgb on the coordinates of x and y okay uh, now we need to also and also we need to change the height and the width positions so here is going to be the width and here is going to be the height okay and in here in the test class I'm going to change instead of rotate 90 I'll call the rotate 180 pass the input and the output file as the parameters save run as Java application and we see that it's finished and now we have this uh, rotated image by 180 degrees so it's upside down so that's it guys, I hope you liked this tutorial and see you soon, bye.